Hey, it's Ice Age TV, and what am I doing now? What the heck am I up to now? Oh, the adventures never end. Hey, we got a few motorcycles. Do I have a few motorcycles? I can do it. I actually have a few cars, too. And, oh my gosh, I'm getting ready to go to Tennessee to do what? Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to Tennessee to bring back more vehicles. And I just have all this room in my property to park all my vehicles that I'm so smart, I'm going to bring back even more vehicles. What does a kid think of that idea? She doesn't even want to know. So we're going to take the Ford F-250 Tremor Carly package, which the car hauler, and we're going to bring back two more cars, and we're going to bring back another motorcycle. Okay, here we go. Project begins. We need to get that truck and that trailer hooked up, but there's stuff in that trailer, and that trailer... That trailer, so we gotta first hook up all three trailers, move this around, move that around, move vehicles around. Yeah, the kid's super excited, can you tell? Yeah, uh -huh. All right, so, you know, I gotta, I think I have to set this truck and trailer to marry each other for the towing capability. That's a whole other project. Okay, this trailer here, I've never ever hauled. One of my Dodge Challenger Hellcats or wide bodies in this trailer. Never. I've always done the GT500, the Mustangs, the smaller vehicles. So my dilemma is, will my Challenger be too big for me to have my full-size dressed bike? This is a 28-foot trailer. It's going to be so tight. So when I put my Indian Challenger motorcycle in this trailer... I already know that bike is going to come out to here. And I already know that that Challenger front end is going to probably be like right here. Wow. Oh, the projects. Got to get this thing all cleaned out and ready to go. It's just projects. Okay, now let's get these blankets in this trailer now. I already put a few in there. Now, you look here, I've got different options here. As a motor enthusiast, you say, well, why don't you take that trailer? Well, no, no, no. That trailer there, baby. The middle one. Middle one. I already set it up for you. So, here is an actual motorcycle trailer. This is a 7x14 trailer. So, it's a 7 foot wide trailer by 14 feet long. This trailer is not going to have the capability to uh, haul a car. This is designed for just motorcycles. Okay, now you go over here, and this is an eight and a half by I think like a 20 or 22 trailer. So this trailer here, it's a really nice trailer. It's a great car hauler trailer or motorcycle trailer because it's not too big, not too uh, too uh, short for a car. But you can't haul motorcycles in a car. This trailer here, you can actually haul. A motorcycle and a car and this is an eight and a half foot wide but this is 28 foot long it's not really a big trailer in hindsight it's probably got a 32 but it's a pain to park these things so anyway so anybody out there it's the motorhead enthusiast want to buy a trailer these are really nice they're not cheap anymore they've gotten very expensive How much but is this Oh, this trailer now is twenty-eight to thirty thousand dollars. I paid like eighteen thousand um, dollars now six years ago. This trailer here, I got a deal on this one. I paid like I think fourteen or fifteen grand. And this is today. This is probably still within that reason, maybe eighteen, twenty. This trailer here, I got a deal on. I paid like ninety-nine, ninety-five hundred dollars. This trailer brand new is probably more like conservative twelve to fourteen grand. So, maybe out there, think about what works best for them. And for my goal, was to have a little more of a multi-purpose trailer like this. But it's a lot of trailer. This is a heavy trailer. This is the perfect motorcycle and side-by-side -side trailer. I should say side-by-side -side vehicle to uh, haul as well. Because it is, to a degree, tall enough. Yeah, the adventures begin. Hey, it's Ice Age, and here we are. Three different trailers. Which trailer do I take? 
Uh, I'm gonna get a car and motorcycle back up north. So even though it's a really cool motorcycle trailer, it's a seven by 14, too narrow, too short. Uh, here's another really cool trailer. It's my Bravo trailer. This is an eight and a half by 22, which wide enough for a car, but too short to carry a motorcycle. This here is a 28, eight and a half by 28. So this is the perfect trailer to enable me to put a motorcycle here and to put a car in here and have easy um, pull in, easy pull out, suicide door. So this is a really good package here. This is a cool trailer, smaller, easier to get around in, but you can't haul a motorcycle and a car, but it's a really cool trailer. But if it's me, you might want to go over for the 28, 30, 32 foot trailer to have capability of both. Okay, the kid wants to have a little fun time before we pack up and on the Honda Trail and she's teaching the dog how to chase vehicles. Isn't that a great idea? Yeah, fantastic, right? Yeah, what do these guys say about that, huh? Oh, one thing's for sure, she's wearing his butt out. She said she got up to 17 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, decisions, decisions. Now we got to figure out what hitch. So what hitch do I use on my F-250 tremor package, Carly package, what am I going to use? And this is always the fun part, and this is the way my property's graded. Uh, I said jacked up the truck is to get that thing to level out to get this trailer. Yeah, it's not that simple, but so what, what hitch? And on these heavy-duty trucks, this is a whole different size rear um, trailer hitch versus like the F-150. Look how much smaller that is. So you have to have an adapter to be able to manipulate this rear toe capability. So, uh, yeah, I think I know what I'm going to use. Okay, so we're going to use the one that I kind of already know goes with this truck. It has the adapter to fit into that big old hole there. And aluminum, nice setup. So I think we're good to go. And what is this thing rated at on the, uh, so this is like a 15,000, 1,500 pound tongue weight. So it should be a 15,000 rated um, tow capacity. Uh-oh, we got problems here. We got a dog wanting to eat a dog bowl dish. But you know what? I'm wrong. I'm so glad I called the dealer. This is a 10,000 GBW trailer uh, hitch. I need this big badass boy right here. So... Yeah, I'm glad I called. I started thinking, I don't think I've used that one on this trailer. I usually use this one on that trailer over here. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Well, I don't know. Hold on a second. Oh, it's been ages. So this, we have to get another adapter here for this trailer. When's the last time I freaking... We just... You've used that hitch with this trailer many times. No, I haven't. Nope, we get it backwards. Look. There you go. So now we got to line up all the holes. Okay, so make sure first of all you do is you put this through to make sure, okay, so they're all lined up. Okay, so go ahead and grab that. No, 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 you leave that in there for a second. You don't know the tricks of the trade. Because you're going to end up bumping those holes out of the way. Make sure it fits. Fits, okay, so now take that pin out and don't, there you go. Try to match that up. Whoa, 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 too far. Gotta match a little hole up. See, there you're gonna see by the marks right here where it goes. Here you That's go. what Whoop. I was doing. A lot of perfectionists do. Okay. Yeah, Mrs. Perfectionist. See if you can do it. Hello. Yeah, and this truck is a lot higher than my other trucks. And, you know, so guess what? Is this thing gonna work? Will this trailer be jacked up too high? Kids got challenges. Yeah, and that's not so simple, is it, there, kid? Huh. Interesting. Wow. So, have you actually knocked off all these other things here? So, let's look here. There it is. Hold on. Okay, so just gonna play it. Play it. There you go. All You've right. never used that with this yeah. <laughs> Yes, I have. I bet you have video. Oh, my gosh. Already. This kid's so funny. I don't know. Who knows, kid? Hey, you getting a little greasy? All right. Now, pick that up, please. We got to back up the trailer 
and this is where you hit the deer there's deer hair on it oh wow okay look at keeper monitoring ginger and scout what a good little boy <laughs> so there's his his there's his bowl that i'm going to crush once i come up underneath here oh there he is look at this like the What's that all about? <laughs> Poor boy. He's gonna go underneath my truck, watch. Go underneath my truck, I can guarantee it. All right, we gotta unplug the power here. And what's this all about, right? All right, keepy boy. All right. What's he gonna do with that, right? Hey, you don't have to buy toys, just give him a food bowl. Now, once I somebody even used this trail, I think it's two summers ago. Dad, are you insane? Was it last summer? The last time I used this trail, I towed my F 450 back up to Florida to Tennessee. You chose the aluminum trailer. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. My black F-450, we left that big trailer down in Florida, and we brought it back through. Oh, I'm talking about the black. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, right. I didn't tow this with that. Okay, so here. Have a little trouble. Let me go. Uh, yeah. Well, let's back up. This is muscles. All right, telling the kid. Before we can like uh, really pull this trailer out of here, you got to put the uh, the rear door up. And to tell you what, these doors, wow, these things are so heavy. How much do you think this door weighs? Two hundred pounds, at least. Now, is that ratchet? Hold on, these things are gonna get in your way. You better move that one up a little bit too. Otherwise, you're gonna jam something up. And what's this? Popcorns walk. Hey, Keith, are you done eating your bowl, huh? Are you ready? Ooh, there you go. Wow. Wow. Okay. Hey, better put my uh, better put my updated uh, sticker on. It's inside the shop. All right. You know, so once we get lot, once we get it all um, hooked up, don't forget about unchalking it. All right. It's always the fun part of all the noises. And put my kid back there. It's oh, she's blocked by the trailer. Oh, she's saying good. Wow. Okay. Glad I didn't hit. Glad I didn't hit the uh, truck. <laughs> wow. Is that close or what? Love the e-boards. Now, is it hooked up right? Do you have to move the truck? Okay, so I don't want to get them in and out five times. So you can do this by yourself. All right, look at that. Not too shabby. Okay, so be sure to push that thing forward. Push it up. No, no, no. Hold on. That. There you go. Okay, so you really didn't. No, no. Leave it up. Leave it up. Leave it up. You're good. What did telling me to push it forward? You're good. Go ahead. Go ahead, but we didn't really line it up right, but okay, go ahead. Let's hope for the best. Hope she slides on. Keep on going. Maybe that ain't gonna happen yet, baby. Because you're, you don't have enough, okay. It's not gonna work. It's gonna Keep on going. No, it won't. Uh-oh. See? You get it? No. Push. Push it over. There you go. <laughs> Dad, you Yikes. It over before. Yikes. Yeah, so you gotta line it perfectly up. Yeah, hold on. There you go. Yeah. You're not, you, this is a 5,000 pound trailer. Okay, 
Okay, move your truck over two inches. All right. Oh, cool. We got it. Cool, but duber. See, now this truck here I've never towed with this trailer. So now, next thing I have to do, after we clean it and give it a good bath, is I gotta set up the dimensions for this truck to know what's behind it so it manages the trailer better. So that's our next project. All right, you know how to crisscross them? Yeah. That's already crisscrossed. It's already crisscrossed. There you go. And you hook it, no, 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 yes, it comes in backwards. But you may have to stretch it a little bit. Look at the ants. Ant City. Okay, so on the, twist it. No, 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 no. Twist the chain. No, no, no. You're so confused. There you go. Twist the train. No, way more than that. Wrong way. Wrong way. Left, 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 oh, left. There you go. Like good, good, good. Time. That's good. Let's see how it looks now. But I think you're still too short. Untwisted. No, Unt not. You are. Untwisted. This is way too tight. One more. Nope, nope. Other way. Other way. To the left. To the left. But that's making it tighter. Okay, then go right. I was doing that. Okay, good. Right there. Right there. But this you got to go angle. You have to angle it. You have to, we were just in. you have to angle it. Do you think I can function on my own? <laughs> okay, let's watch. Hey, Keithy. It's so stupid. When Ford makes these heavy duty trucks, how the hell are you supposed to hook up your chains? I mean, it's just so stupid. Go the other way. Let me show you. All right, so I think once we get off this high area, readjust it. So pull that block out. Okay, kid. Take that block, pull it over to the right. Just pull it out. Pull it over the way because the back end of the trailer will hit that. Okay? That's good. There you go. All right, get that unchalked. Make sure the other side isn't chalked. Okay? And is this all the way up? Because this will drag. Well, this trailer, this trailer actually is not. You just keep it going. All right, so we're going to do this here. Hey, Ginger Baby. Come on, babe. Come on out of there. Come on. Ginger. Yep. Dogs like to hang out underneath things. I they? love dogs. They're all so cute. All right, let's pull her out. All right, let's pull her out. Make sure we run over any dogs. That would be devastating. So your truck sits up so high, I don't think it's going to drag. But now the next project is setting up this trailer so that this trailer handles better with this truck. So you have to get this truck like perfectly straight. See, this is a lot of trailer. I haven't towed this trailer in a while. I think it's been two summers that I since I've actually have uh, used this trailer. And yeah, you better go over it, make sure everything's okay. So, first thing you do, get this all kind of lined up. Kids having to fit here. Jeez, Christ. Never simple, is it? And here's the UPS guy. It just doesn't end, man. All right. So get this thing all lined up. Got to have it pretty straight. And I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. So first thing I want to do is I need to put these mirrors way out. See that? That's so cool. Oh, here's the UPS guy. And let's see if we get to see a little bit more. Alright, now. Yeah, see what I'm doing is you have to get this trailer pretty straight to get this thing to be lined up right to do all the freaking things. So now you go over here, you go into your freaking I know it's so much information. We watch my channel, it's like duh. But you have to go over here and go to your towing, and I don't think that this freaking uh trailer is in this you see, I don't have, oh the Bravo is, let's see there. The other trailer. Trailer set up. 
Did you hear Slide me? trailer. So slide trailer. Let's see. I don't think this one's in here. Did you hear me? Yeah, I did. So it's not. So. You haven't towed this trailer with this truck. Right. So have to add the trailer. What's going on by the gate? He's delivering my place from my Harley. Oh, this just kills the day, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. Just getting things set up. And conventional, yes. Okay. Is the width less than nine feet and less than 33 feet? Yes. Um, chair length. With it being this, it's about 30 feet. So that's interesting. This thing actually doesn't require. Okay, so now this is very interesting. Oh, drive forward. Where's the dogs? I got to move the trailer. Every on my way. Drive for a street. Okay. Okay. Now shift part. <clears throat> Place sticker. Already got a sticker on there. But is there anything blocking it? Hey, Julia. Move that handle. You see that little triangle black sticker in the back there? Make sure my little camera in the back of the the uh, tailgate can see it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? There's a little black, little white and black sticker on the trailer. Make sure that little red thing and the handle's not blocking the view. Okay. Okay, there you go. There you go. Good. See that? Okay. Thank you. Oh, here he goes. <coughs> Jeez. What? Yeah, the project begins. Okay. I just gone through all the measurements. And look at that there. So I did pretty good, right? So hit yes. Okay, save awesome. So now the pro trailer thing. Pfft, Forget that. It's a pain. You have to have a huge parking lot to do that. So, good. Okay, so there we go. The truck and trailer are ready to go. And it's reading everything. Lights come on. All right. Now it'll be time to clean the truck. My back's killing me. Crazy, am I? Jesus Christ, just doesn't end. Oh, here we go. How do you get rid of all the fleas and all your damn dogs? You get a little pool. You fill it up with all this good ingredients right here. I use vinegar because it's like all natural. Vinegar and Dawn or dishwashing soap. And you just lay them down in there and bing, bam, hey, Dad, you go. Can you give me the flea killer shampoo on the shelf? I can. Thanks. Hey, how to kill the fleas and all your dogs? What do you do? What do you do? You get a little pool from PetSmart and you fill it up with a bunch of nice ingredients like, uh, what's it, vinegar? Vinegar. Vinegar and some uh, soap and all this good stuff. And use a little uh, little mini doggy pool to kill all the fleas. Vinegar will kill a flea right on. You too can kill all the fleas in your dog by going out to PetSmart and buying a little pet pool and fill it up with all these nice ingredients. Can you Vinegar Dad, and Dad, some uh, dishwashing me? detergent. Dad, can you hand me that glove right there? The hair I brush? can. And so that pool is filled up with all those nice ingredients. And now you get to kill, kill all the uh, fleas. And the other dogs, they just can't wait to uh, come up and be the next ones to be able to have all the fun getting the uh, fleas off of them. You too. Go buy a pool. I'm letting you okay. run around with that. No, Keeper. I'm actually going to do Keeper. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, dog cleaning time. Trailer cleaning time. 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, there is. Ah! Yeah, the dog's like, I ain't doing that. I ain't getting in that damn pool. Hey, Kiwi boy! Come here, little boy. Hi! Hi! <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Did she get him? Oh, she got him. Okay, there you go. Time to take a donkey. There you go. Come on, little boy. There you go. What a good little boy. But yeah, for me, I'm going to back the trailer up and get all the bird poop off of it. It's supposed to be downpouring rain over the weekend, so or do I get rained on? You never know. Hey, talk about color match and look at the truck. Look at the poodle. Everything's grayed out. Hey, how about that, huh? I think that looks really good, actually. I think I did well on that. All right. Time to clean her up. And look at that. This rear end didn't even squat. But there's no weight in the trailer, duh. <laughs> okay. Number two, dog. Now, number one trailer, the birds. If the birds hadn't crawled all over my trailer, per se, I wouldn't even need to clean the damn thing. What a joke. The birds. Have I gone to the birds? Okay, with just a regular old garden hose, no power washer. Let's see how good I am. How right or wrong am I? Does this stuff start coming off? Come off there. That's a scratch right there. So you got the tires. I just kind of put some water on, activate a little bit. That kind of helps a little bit too. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if my trailer. Gets all the bird poop off of it. The before and after look. I haven't touched it. I haven't put any sponge on this or anything. This is just regular old hose. Power washer should pretty much take it off. I'm not really dragging that out. Too many projects. Good tires. These tires. This is such a good product. Spray 9. Can't emphasize enough. Spray 9. It's just a really good, safe, and powerful product. Doesn't ruin your paint. And uh, if you use it correctly, you'll be very happy with it. I buy it through Amazon. Get a little better price. And not everybody sells that stuff. You don't find that stuff everywhere. If you don't find it at most parts stores, you'd be amazed. The kids are number four. It's already done. Three dogs. Number four. Her theory is, I kind of agree with her. Let all the stuff set up on them for a while. Then rinse them off. The fleas are so bad. It's just incredible. We've got a serious flea issue. And so here's the one dog chasing other dog. Yeah. So we're just letting that stuff set up on them. And then once, you know, we're just going to re-hose them all off. Yeah, they're still itching, right? Yikes. And the fun has begun. <laughs> they're <What dog>. <laughs> Ginger's way over there in the rough. Rolling around in all the dirt and grass. There's Kiefer. Yeah, they're all behaving naughty. They want to get all dirty again. They can't stand it. Uh, yeah, classic. Yeah, what's that all about, right? Now Tango, Tango's gonna play guard dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is classic. Look how white Willow is. Your back window in your truck's open. I know, I'm gonna close it. It's gonna be raining all weekend long, it'll be I full know. of water. I'm very hey, Willy Pilly! Tango's next! <laughs> this is what happens when you bathe the dog. They go nutty. <laughs> round and round the tree they go, like squirrels. Getting all trashed again, too, all mudded up. Yeah. Oh, let me get back to my project here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at that, making headway. I haven't even touched it with a with anything yet besides spraying iron and water. All right. Hey, we got the bucket of water and soap and the big old uh, sponge or mop or brush, whatever you want to call it. Making headway. Kids on the last one. He's already freaking undone a nosedive in this thing. Yep, you think that water's all dirty? Yikes. 
Hey, we are making progress. All the doggies have had a bath. Trailers had a bath. And hey, we're getting there. The day is a pass and wow, yikes. All right, coming down the home stretch here, but boy, it's noon. Go over to the trailer now, checking it out, getting the tire pressures up, making sure I've got my gun in case I get a flat tire. Hey, make sure I have the things needed should you get break down. I mean, it's the worst thing to be in a trailer and break down, not have the proper tools to fix it. If you get a flat tire, it's radical. One thing I highly recommend, Rapid Jack. You buy this thing for your trailer. And I just can't emphasize enough. This thing's really cool. It'll help you change a tire on a double axle trailer. Okay? Not a single, double. All right. Got all my extra straps. Got my covers, condors in for the motorcycle. Got my blue tie downs for the car. Got my LED lights. Not too bad. Interior's trailer is really good. Interior's trailer is six and a half years old it'll be seven years old this coming like december january of next year not bad the exterior hasn't done that well and yeah if you park this thing in a big warehouse garage it'd still look brand new but no and that rear panel it's so disappointing i damaged that and the dealer totally ordered the wrong panel it wasn't until i got home i even realized that i even called him i was like are you kidding me are you guys colorblind Oh, well, anyways, part one of the hit the road. That's going to do hit the road here. Hopefully get out of here by one o'clock, two at the latest. So stay tuned for part two.